people, hey, we're live. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome into the uh, Flippin' Hippos channel, guys. I'm Star, and tonight I have Robert with me. Hello. I'm trying to pull up the chat on my phone. <laughs> Robert is uh, the plush king of the West Coast, the complimentary um, plush royalty to me. <laughs> no, look at his plush. He brought a hippo to the show today, and I have Stitch's girlfriend. I don't know her name, but... Angel. <laughs> you told me that. I told you that like two minutes ago. <laughs> her name is Angel, and she just came out. Uh, I just photographed her today, so she's not listed, but she came to say hi. She was my favorite plush out of my photo session today. I got about 25 friends photographed. And Robert has a hippo. <laughs> a little one, too. Look at that. I'm so jealous of this hippo. You have no idea. Yeah, Greg sent me this hippo. <laughs> I'm so jealous of that hippo. I'm going to make us a little bit wider because I don't like my face. I don't know. Do you think we should be bigger? I don't care. <laughs> you guys can see Hannah and Henry back there. Say hi, Henry and Hannah. They're right. here. They're rushed in. Oh, that's so cool. Let me go in on close. I just listed her for $9.99. $99.99? No. $999. Are you serious? Yeah, look at the face. It's an old school one. Where'd you get it from? Uh, I think I just got it in one of the bags for a dollar. <laughs> I've had it in my in my room for over like two years just sitting there but i, I was doing the the challenge with uh, courtney if you saw the challenge and that was mm -hmm. one of my items that i tried to get up but people didn't vote on it so i'm like oh well too bad i'll just throw it up for a thousand and see what happens so he's listed for a thousand or she's listed for a thousand do you have best offer on it yeah what will you entertain probably 800 not going lower i like yeah. it I like to keep it in my store forever if I have to. <laughs> yeah, it is oh, really cool. Fur from it on my nose. It's <laughs> yeah, an so, old, old plush. Do that. Just get your if nose. You, if you're here live, today is April 13th. It's a Tuesday. So we're two weeks into the first month of the second quarter. And I'm working through my death piles, getting ready to move in a couple of months. And Robert is buying all the plush on the West Coast. <laughs> buying everything, buying games, buying plush, buying everything. I listed two hundred fifty items on the weekend, so I was tired on Sunday. How much? Two hundred fifty. I listed on the weekend from Friday and Saturday. I listed two hundred fifty items, so I almost passed that on Sunday. <laughs> I'm like, that's you're you're actually working harder than I am, and I'm getting ready for a move. I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, I photographed 30 things today, but I also have physical therapy and a lot of other stuff going yeah. on. Yeah, I think I shipped out 103 this weekend, so did pretty good. Yeah, I saw that was really good. We did 30. We've been selling more on Macari because the last time, if you guys remember, I'll say hi to some folks in the chat in just a second, but the last time I had Robert on, um, we were talking about Macari. You hate Macari? I hate I hate, I hate Macari. <laughs> But apparently, I was listing my stuff way too high. And now I'm I, selling on Posh, so go go figure. Well, the talk we had last time you were on, I was treating Macari the way I do Poshmark, and I was raising my prices 10 to 20% above eBay prices, um, and then charging shipping, and it just wasn't. Macari's not going to have that. <laughs> yeah, Macari's go. not going to have that. It ain't have that. <laughs> Yeah, they're not bad at offers either. They're not they're not like Posh. Posh is like offer, 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 offer. Mercari's like, eh, okay, I'll just buy it. <laughs> so yeah, like that whole week, that whole um next weekend after the last time you were on, I spent going through every single listing I had on Mercari and I dropped all the prices about twenty percent and uh -huh. um, free shipping and we started moving plush. And so like it's like one or two a week, but Prior to that, when were you on last? Like in March? I don't know. <laughs> it's been about a month, month and maybe yeah, two. Yeah, about months. a month. Prior to that, we hadn't sold the plush on Macari since like October. Yeah, you so, said you weren't selling anything. 
like we were selling one or two a year. So now we're up to like one or two a, a week. Um, yeah. I'm happy with that because I haven't really been touching Macari. I'm paying for List Perfectly and not using it. I'm not cross posting. Y'all, I'm busy. I'm getting ready to move. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> All right. I sold, I sold six items on Poshmark this week. Yay. Yeah, six our <laughs> we've been sharing our Poshmark and doing offers. I'm um, not yeah. going to share my Poshmark closet. It's mine. You can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to say hi to some folks in the chat. Uh, welcome in, Kelly. Welcome in, Carrie Berry's mom. Rhonda and Amelia are here, the mother and daughter right. team. Um, they have sold Angel before. Gnome and the Frog are here, guys. That's my good friends, Bill and David. They're with the Blue Wrench. Say hi to them. If you have any questions, they can help you out. Um, they're watching while eating dinner, so try not to bother them too much. I should make breakfast. D Dave is a wonderful cook. He's amazing. Um, Melly Lynn is here. Sunday fun day. Pamela is here. Um, Megan, my glasses are coming in this weekend, by the way. <laughs> yeah, keep scrolling. <laughs> I know. Well, I was getting really bad migraines too. So I was actually debilitated for a couple of weeks. Oh, I hate them. Yeah. Oh, terrible migraines. Terrible. I went to my doctor. Um, we had to change my medicine. I'm on allergy medication now. I think that's going to help, but I think the glasses are the biggest thing because I'm like, yeah, it'll mess up your when you eye problems. It'll mess up your brain. Which I hate. Oh yeah, yeah. I hate migraines for sure. So I, know I will be wearing glasses and be a little nerd next week, guys. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I can see without <laughs> <laughs> like like going on to the computer. And I won't, hopefully that'll help with the migraines because, and then, like you said, they knock you out and you can't do, you can't do anything. You just want to lay in the bed yeah. and die. Yeah. You want to lay in the bed and die. Um, but I think mine was a coupling of allergies and bad eyeballs. Yeah, I can tell when I'm going to get a migraine because I see like little squiggly lines in the side of my eye and I know it's coming. It's like little like, uh, I don't know, like lightning bolts that come on the side of my eye and it's just bad. I know it's coming. Yeah, mine always starts with this little pain, like right in here. Um, if I can catch mine and take my Imatrex in time, it usually helps. Uh huh. But yeah, I usually go chug a energy drink and take some ibuprofen, and hopefully I catch it in time. But usually it's too late, and I'm like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> well, when the Imatrex stopped working, I knew something was wrong, so I went to the doctor. I got allergy meds and I got glasses on the way. So, yeah, whatever helps. And I'm sipping on a black cherry. Sparkling ice. <laughs> I'm addicted to these. Thank you, Casey. Um, there's money oh, to be made in Macari. Yeah, everyone says there's money to be made in Macari, and I absolutely. 1000% think that's bullshit and I don't believe it and I'm sorry, <laughs> but I just hate the platform. I feel like I could put a $500 bill on there and be offering it for five bucks and I still wouldn't get a sell. <laughs> and I feel the same about posh. So where are you? I, going? I don't think there's money in it. I have good plush. I have good items at good prices. So no do I. And I might sell yours. Don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Because Makari knows I hate it. And Makari knows I love it. And Posh knows I hate it. So we're even. And eBay just hates everybody, right? That's it. I be here. Swimmerization. Crystal. Doreen French. Look at me. <laughs> it's like an old lady. You know how they're always like. But you can't see what I'm doing. I'm going like this. Holding yeah. it right now. <laughs> um. CS is here. Did you get the shipping labels from Macari? No, we use Pirate Ship. Yeah, Pirate Ship's the easiest for that. Mm -hmm. They used to be um, cheap on Macari, but now they jacked up the prices with the labels, so it's not worth it now. No, I just use Macari because Macari's for first class items like Posh, Macari is comparable. Or not Macari. Posh. <laughs> Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship. I don't know what you're talking about. The prices are comparable to eBay. The, the yeah. discount you get. Um, Deb Ladeda's here watching Wash Drives. Yeah. <laughs> Resale rejects. Is eBay still automatically closing returns or do we need to message 
So they're automatically closing them. And I can tell you, I just had to call last week. And when I call in, I have the concierge. So I actually get a representative in California based out of the headquarters at eBay. And I tend to trust what they say a little bit more than the people reading from scripts that aren't at headquarters. Um, they're still closing them out, but they're giving them like an extra 10 to 15 days because of COVID. Yeah, it's ridiculous, but whatever. Yeah, we had this $100 fishing reel and the guy wanted to return it for whatever reason. And he didn't, and they gave him all this extra time. And I'm like, just close it before he sends it. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> At least I don't want to return $100. <laughs> yeah, he never did return it though. You got to call their Oh, book. that's good. Yeah, I love when that happens. I'd say, like, on a daily basis, if you averaged it out over the week, we probably get one to two people a day who contact us with, this is why I should get a refund story, yeah. all the different stories. Or, oh. Yeah, and I always call their bluff, and probably only half of the people then will actually open a return, and of all the returns we get opened, like, 10% come back. Yeah, ten percent will actually ship it back, and that's ten percent of the fifty percent of the people you called the bluff on. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's the way. It goes. I tell people don't do partials, don't do any of that nonsense, because yeah. normally if you call their bluff, they're not even going to open a return, and then well, even you might call them. I know it. They take like a picture of something damaged, and I missed it. Then I might give a partial, but other than that, nah. Yeah, but it has to be my fault. Yeah. Exactly. Um, or if the post office breaks something and it's priority, um, I'll just refund them and then I go through the. Yeah, but I make sure they send me a picture first because yeah. I will not refund without that. Okay. Um, yeah, I did learn that about my eyes. I have one eye that can see far, swimmerization, and I have one that can see close. So I'm oh, going to have to pull the um, The progressives, they're like bifocals, but they don't look like bifocals they're called progressives nowadays and they look like normal glasses whatever <laughs> it's whatever basically i'm old and i'm blind um all you people that do great on makari could you like pray to the makari gods or sacrifice a virgin to makari for me because i can't give stuff away on that platform <laughs> <laughs> Um, where Megan says, where are they listed? Where are what listed? Oh, is she talking to vintage treasure? I'm trying to sell all my, all four of my, I can't read. Please read that. <laughs> <laughs> trying to sell all four of my children's plush, old and new, Thai, Webkins, and so much more. I can't move plush. <laughs> uh, my phone just closed on me. <laughs> so uh -oh. it's not helping. Oh, well, there it goes. Here's the thing about plush that a lot of people yeah. don't yeah. know. It's long tail. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so if you think your plush has been sitting around for a long time and you can't move it and it's not selling, guess what? That's normal. That's normal plush. <laughs> plush takes a long time unless you have something super rare or you just happen to be in the right place at the right time. So yeah, I just sold one that was on my store for five years, and I was happy to get rid of it. Remember um, the last time you came on when we mentioned our pet peeves? That's one of mine when people say, "I my plush has been sitting forever, and you ask them, well, how long has forever been? And they're like, a couple weeks. A week? <laughs> 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 no. Plush well, takes a long time. Um, Robert, do you only sell on eBay, someone asks. What? You cut out. Do you sell on eBay only? Who you cut out? Do you sell on eBay only? Oh, no. I sell on Posh and will try to sell on Posh. It doesn't work out for me. <laughs> but Mercari and uh, eBay are my main places. Mostly eBay because I haven't cross-listed to Mercari in a little while. So that's my fault. But I'm trying to get my inventory uh, completely redone. So then I will move everything to Posh and Mercari. But right now my inventory with Plush is kind of in a mess. So 
I'm not cross listing anything right now. Yeah, I'm not really either because I'm trying. Um, we're trying to get all of our death piles listed before the end of this month so we can start packing next month. And yeah. um, I'm currently cleaning up our inventory. Like I'm going through the bins. I'm sorry, guys. I'm itchy. Um, Don't start. You're going to make me itch. <laughs> I have, like, we went out for a walk. I think pollen got on me. Um, <clears throat> I'm pointing over here like you can see what I'm pointing at. We've been pulling our bins down and going through our inventory and seeing what fell off of eBay because gremlins eat your listings. Oh, I got four, yeah. four more to go, and I'm done with all of our inventory, but I found hundreds of items, so I have to relist those. Yeah. As well as our death pile. So we've been doing that, going through our inventory, so it's all packed up and stuff's listed that it shouldn't be. Yeah. And um, I want to clean out my, my Poshmark, but just make sure, because I feel like sometimes – eBay relit. Not only do listed stuff fall off, I feel like sometimes stuff relist that's already sold or that you took yeah, down. Yeah, it happens. Um, I was doing uh, my Garfield plush, and I have a huge bin. I'm talking huge bin. It's one of those like 50 gallon bins. And I went through my Garfield listings. I had two of them listed. I'm like, are you serious? There's almost 75 in here, and two are listed now. That's I mean, it's been a while to go through it, but it. How did all that Garfield just fall off? It, um, amazing. Something happens. I found like so many pairs. And here's, I was just talking to Casey about this today on the phone. Um, it's never the poop that falls off. It's never my bread and butter jeans. When I go back to the inventory, it's all the silver jeans and miss me jeans and true religion jeans, all the ones I would list for 40 to 50 bucks. And then yeah, all, all the good like, stuff falls off. Yeah, all the bread and butter jeans are still listed. They're still good to go. I, I found, like, stacks of expensive, nice jeans that weren't listed anymore. And they were still on Poshmark. So I know they were listed on eBay because that's where I list first. And then yeah, I and then you post. Yeah. So if it was if it was still on, because if I can't find it on eBay when I'm going through the inventory, I check other platforms before I re-photograph and list. Because I can, yeah, I can backwards yeah. list perfectly, you know. So, oh, it was ridiculous. So, oh, there's Greg. I have a bone to pick with Greg. Would you like to show Greg what bone I would like to pick with him? <laughs> I wish you found out about him, Greg. <laughs> I am so jealous of that hippo. <laughs> she found you out, Greg. <laughs> I found out what you're doing behind my back, cheating on me with the other plush royalty. All right. Um, I guess... We should. It's been 20 minutes and we still. Oh, we're done? Then? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. Bye, guys. No. Um, so I have a theory about why Squishmallows. Why am I hearing an echo? On your. Oh, it's not me. Yes, really? it is. I didn't do it. I have a theory about why Squishmallows are selling. From a Squishmallow seller I met in the post office because I can be sociable. <laughs> Yay. So you tell me what you think and then I'll tell you what I heard. Uh, well, Squishmallows are... The thing I've heard about Squishmallows is that they're, they're like in different places that they've only released some in different places. So that's why in the UK they are just blowing up everywhere because... Some of the different ones, like the Valentine's ones, have only been released in, like, L.A. or New York. And they can't get them in the U.K. at all. So I've been selling a bunch in the U.K. Um, so that's what I've heard about Squishmallows. Is they're, like, limited releases in different parts of the country. So they can't get them. Like, L.A. can't get the New York ones. And New York ones can't get the L.A. ones. And across the, the globe, it's, like... People just trying to get them everywhere. And there's like UK ones that are just limited for the UK. And they're just not reproducing them, which let's hope they don't because that's when that's how that's Ty really, <laughs> that's what Ty did. And yeah. <laughs> we want to start that. That was the fall of the Beanie Babies. So yeah, that's that what I heard. I was in the post office and there was a girl and there were just tons of packages. And um, she was paying full price and our postal. Now, this was a while ago because we're on our third postal worker in the five years we've been doing this or whatever, oh, however many years it's been. We've walked out all three times and gotten really great, nice folks. But Amber left 
when she went on maternity leave and they moved her to a different post office. Then we had John, who I loved. John was the best. And he's been gone for a couple of weeks. And we have Phyllis. And I like her. From day one, I'm like, hi, Phyllis. My name is Star. I'm P.O. Box 7757, the Flippin' Hippo. You're going to see me here every day. I get lots of packages here and stuff. And she's like, okay, great. And I always have my ball scan sheet for her, so she loves me. I tell her how many packages, if she needs a cart. So a little bit of niceness sometimes goes a long way. Exactly. Um, I let my 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 parents' southernness come out of me. I'm like, hi, Phyllis. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we've been really blessed. Um we had one you sub. Run away. Run away. <laughs> we had one sub for a while when John was out that I did not get along with. He hated oh. me. You could see it in his eyes. I would walk in the door and he was like, yeah. looking me up and down. He was so. <laughs> oh. But anyway, I digress. John was still there, and the girl had 25, 30 packages, and I guess she had been coming in every day. With that many and paying full price oh, and she geez. was saying to john is there anywhere i can get commercial prices or discounts or what about the ones over a pound and he as i was walking in he's like talk to the girl behind you that's queen of plush right there and <laughs> <laughs> so she turns around and she said she was a she sells only on facebook marketplace ship nothing local because she doesn't want to meet strangers and all she does is squish follows she re Retail oh, nice. So she goes all over the area and grabs them up after every holiday, after every major event, after every limited release. And then she basically told me what you just explained that people yeah. in California the can't. East has a lot here. of them that are like limited. The East has more limited than California and other places. Yeah. The East has a lot of them. Yeah. We have a lot of them here on the East Coast. We do. Yeah. And then we get certain stores like here in the Pittsburgh area. They'll release like one lamb that's just for the Walgreens for Easter. And then a different chicken that's just for the Walmart or whatever. Like I'm just making shit up off the top of my head. That's my second square. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's counting. Um, but basically that's what she said. That some there it's not just like geographically, it's like even within certain cities, only one store will get one type. Yeah. And then, um, so people who wanted the purple lamb that you could only get at the Walgreens in New York that live out in Oregon. Aldi, Costco, a bunch of stores have done the, done it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cajun reseller just talked about it. Aldi that, that did it, and he was selling it one, one of his plus for really good money. So you, are you, get my Aldi. are you going to get them and retail arbitraging them? No, I haven't yet. But I, I might if if I know they're out there, I might. <laughs> this sounds really awful for me to say this because I am supposed to be a pillar of this reseller community and a teacher. So you guys do as I say, not as I do, okay? <laughs> I can't be bothered. No, I hear you. It, it depends if it's worth my time. If I can get twenty from one store, I am out. For sure, I'll go to hit all all these because I'll wind up with like a hundred of them, and I'll have a little listing up for I don't know a good year or so before they all sell. But if I'm going to like one or two all these and I'm getting like one or two a piece, it is not worth my time. So it depends on what and how much I can get. And you don't know really know until you're out there. And thank you so much, Greg, for the five dollar um, super chat for the square jar. Um, <laughs> because yeah, in the past. And we're going to talk about some of these. We have a list here, guys. In the past, there's been other fads or other things that were blowing up on eBay and selling for a lot of money. Keith and I would go out and run all over town and come home with three. And we'd have wasted. It, that. That's why I can't be bothered. Because if I'm going to run around all over town, waste my whole day, then you got to spend money to eat lunch out because you're not at home to eat lunch. So now you've wasted money. Yeah. Gas. <laughs> gas. Food, you come home with exactly. three or four of something. If I would have stayed home that whole eight hours, I would have saved money, um, ate at home. I would have not put the wear and tear in the gas and all that in my car. But also, in that eight hours, I could have productively listed like a hundred plush that I already yeah. have here. You can list all day. 
So you so, basically lost money doing it. So it depends what it is. That's why I said it depends. If I can get a lot, fine. If I can't, fine. Because like I, I get like thirty five uh, game stops in a weekend. If I happen to see them, there's like a a store I go to all the time for my um, prescriptions. I haven't seen them there, but if they had them there. Like I checked, I, I specifically refilled my migraine medication for like one day after Easter. So I can go in <laughs> yeah. and pick it up and be like peeking around to see if they're already Easter. They didn't, they never have them there. So I don't just like run into them anywhere I go. And we yeah. are so busy right now with everything going on. I just can't be bothered. But if someone were to tell me like, you know, if Keith's uncle or one of our friends here or somebody was to call me and be like, yo, I'm standing here at all these and there's 20 lambs yeah. or 20 chickens. I'd be like, put them on your cart. I'll be right there. Yeah, there. yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then from there, I'll go hit the rest. <laughs> Once I'm yeah. out, I'll, I'll go to hit the rest. But just to go and maybe find one or two, no, nah, I don't like it. It's, it's not worth my time. I don't like it either. Um. That's kind of why I don't like thrifting anymore. I got really spoiled during the shut-in. The shut-in. Shut I am a shut-in. I'm, I'm a hermit. I'm a reclusive hermit. And when the shutdown happened and Keith and I discovered wholesale, I got spoiled. I, I don't, why would I leave the house when stuff can be just brought to the post office for me or right on my doorstep, you know? But yeah, that I hit the stop and I hit the Gaylords and I'm good for the whole year. I mean, <laughs> I don't have to go yeah. out at all. And I that haven't even seen my thrift shop in met, like a year and a half. That girl that I met said she has to spend like two or three days driving all over town. Yeah. But she, had, well, I mean, look like she was making good money. But I don't got time for that. No, not anymore. Before, when I started, yeah, I didn't know what I was doing. I'm, I'll do it all the time. But now, nah. My house, oh, I'll stay in my house. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to stay in my house and mind my own business and leave once a week for groceries and a couple of days a week for therapy. And I mean, I literally go to physical therapy and then I come home and that's it. I am like that old man that sits, get off my lawn! <laughs> <laughs> well, you can even find my house. I have five acres, so I don't even have to say that. There's nobody around me. <laughs> and the, the, the shutdown only made it worse. It only increased. Oh, okay, exactly. <laughs> I haven't left my house in so long. It, it, it really made it worse because now you're telling me all I had to do for any restaurant I like, even ones that used to not offer carry out. Exactly. <laughs> like Burgatory is the number one burger I've ever had. Y'all, and I've eaten burgers in like 35 different states. It's actually like this whole long story. But burgers are me and Keith's favorite food, and we have this quest, and we go to different places and eat them, and we've been to many states and stuff, traveled, and this is the best burger we've ever had. We will miss this, this and only this, what we missed from Pennsylvania when we moved to Florida. They have the best burgers, but they never really offered carryout before. Um, you could go in and order it and then like kind of leave with it. Yeah. yeah. But when the shutdown happened, they like had a nap now, and you can just do yeah, do. <laughs> and I roll up to the back door and I call and I'm like, "Hey, I'm Star. I'm here for my order." They come out the back door, they put it through the window in my seat, and I'm like, "Thanks." Yeah, exactly. I found a rib place last year, and it was the greatest thing ever. I don't have to go in, don't have to see anybody. Put my credit card in, and I, I just walk to the door. They hand me my food, and I go home. I don't even have to get out of my car. I roll up to the back door and call. <laughs> Yours is even better. <laughs> and they walk out, and you roll the window down, they poke their head in. They know me by now. They're like, hey, Star. <laughs> yeah, seriously, who needs legs anymore this time? <laughs> <laughs> I even do all my stuff sitting down. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, I'm telling you, the worst thing for my um, – Permitness was the shutdown. But. Yeah, no kidding. Uh. All right, I'm going to share my screen real quick, and we are going to look up some squishmallows. Yay. Okay. I just sold two. So you can look oh, I don't know me. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know how to do this. Okay, there we go. Um, You just sold one? Yeah, I think I sold two. Um, you know something that I should search for? 
No, it's just a Valentine's one. I think it sold for like twenty five bucks. I still want to watch my what sold video. <laughs> just go over there. Valentine's Day Squishmallow. So these ones here are the five inch mini set of six for forty five. Listed, not sold. You guys oh, can see. Cool. This little lamb is so cute. Cool. All right. That's so, the one I sold right there, that Duchess or that one. The pink deer? Yeah. She's they are so if you guys haven't actually held one, um, the thumbnail for this show is a blue unicorn squishmallow. That's mine. It is used and it is still listed. Um, it's I guess they're they don't sell very quickly if they're used. No, usually sell the ones with a tag a lot faster. But I did have a squishmallow cat that I sold, um, and immediately someone contacted me. Hey, I'll give you fifty dollars if you cancel the sale. I'm like, oh, well, too late. It's already gone for twenty five. But yeah, I'm like whoops. I guess I should have looked that one up. Oh well. Well, if you saw the uh, thumbnail for the show, I've only ever had one. I believe I found in the wild, and it was used. It's a really cute blue unicorn. Um, but look at these. Now, anybody can list anything for any price, just like you can still find Beanie Babies. Yeah. Outrageous. But I think these are more realistic here. What the heck I is that? the hedgehog one, too. Stacy oh. the Squid and Rainbow Leonard Wine. Okay. But that these are more realistic. I have that one listed right now. I think mine's for only listed for like 40 maybe 30 So, I mean, these could be... These seem realistic prices in here for these. Yeah, 45 somewhere on there is about right. Um, someone sold the pig in our group. Was it for like 100 Yeah, I think so. Did you see the pig listing? She sold the pig mo the pig squishmallow. Yeah, I saw it. But I forget. <laughs> All over the place. $70 for this. This panda's cute. Oh, anyway, I digress. So I have that unicorn. Softest. Velvet, silky filling. It feels like a hamster. If you guys have ever held a hamster, they're like really soft. And they're squishy. They're really yeah. nice. They're super soft. I love those things. I mean, do they make hippo ones? I believe so. They should. We're going to find out because Star might be buying herself a squishy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, his name you is go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him! Now you gotta go lowest price shipping first and then see if you can buy yourself one. His name is Hank! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's got two little buck teeth. He's cute. You don't have the Baby Yoda one? Um, I do not have the Baby Yoda one. Oh, that was a Costco exclusive. Look at it. Oh, here he is for 20 I'm from the United Kingdom if I want to wait 10 years. <laughs> Maybe Hank the Hippo is a uh, United Kingdom one. I don't know. Because look at all these. Yeah, you never know. Oh my god. I want to Hank the Hippo. Do you know what though? I'm not going to buy it for myself. My birthday is on Mother's Day. So I'll have Keith. Someone let Keith know I want Hank. Let me see how much the baby Yoda is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama. Shoot. I mean, that's realistic. There you go. The yeah. baby Yodas that I collect all cost like 20 and 40 when they first came out. Yeah. Oh, he's cute. He 29 regular price at Costco, I believe. So you're not making much at 40. Oh, my God. There's a freaking Chewbacca one. Okay. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We went there, off on a tangent. I need Hank. I need Hank. No. Tell Casey. He'll find it for you. <laughs> All right. So here's just some plush. I just did Squishmallow plush. So just looking down through. 800 for a bunch. Yeah. People that have these, they know what they have, right? I have a case of the little keychain ones I bought years ago. I'm still selling through them. Look at Misty the Mouse. <laughs> I love rodents too. Um, 
Yeah, people know what they have. Because somebody was selling these on Facebook Marketplace, and you can't get them for a reseller prices unless you're retail arbitrage, no. from what I understand. And the thing is, is if you do hit them after the holidays, the girl I was talking to at the post office said you can they do run them like 50% off or whatever. Yeah. Because the stores don't really care about this fad on eBay being worth money or whatever. Um, so here we go. We're going to look at solds real quick. And then I will bring me and Robert back up the egg. Oh, cow. Holy Wendy the Frog. All right, I need one of those. We need to find a Winnie the Frog. Jack the Cat. Huh, that looks weird. He's in a bag, maybe? Yeah, it has to be something, because I don't think his face looks like that. Yeah, he's in a bag. He's <laughs> in a bag. <laughs> I'm like, what? His face does not look like that. Yeah, what is he doing? Um, there he is, 510 oh, out. Yeah. These oh, are all yeah. auctions, too, if you look. So people auction these up. So if you get a really rare Squishmallow and you're debating on whether you want to um, buy it now or auction, go through the solds and check it out. Like this pineapple, he just sold straight up for 500 bucks. Awesome. This cat got bit up, so that pineapple's cute. Did you ever watch Psych? Watched a little bit of it. I didn't watch the whole thing. Oh, they had a pineapple in every episode. Do you know about that? No, I don't. <laughs> I didn't yeah, watch had, enough episodes to find out. They had a secret pineapple in every single episode. Cool. I used to look for him. Look at this Halloween kitty. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, I want them all. They're all so cute. <laughs> They're all so soft. <laughs> They are. They're cute and squishy. So you guys can see here what they can go for. Um, but let's switch this to lowest and see yeah. what the lowest. See what the turds sell it for. <laughs> see what the turds sell it for. So apparently Sherry the Sloth, who is really super cute, sold for five nineteen. Dude, that doesn't even cover shipping and fees. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Let alone cost of what? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> you see what I see? He's a hamster. Okay, I got right. him for six dollars. Humphrey, Hammy. What was the Hank the hippo? Yeah, so I'm writing these down, folks, because I'm twelve. I have the eyes of an old bat, but I had a twelve-year-old child when it comes to toys. Look at this guy. O M G. Oh my god. <laughs> Five oh my god, his little tail. Okay, anyway. So this is what the turd sell him for. Oh, there's no way you let a Disney Star Wars BB-8 go for 225. Yeah. That's why I follow a lot of these people that are, are so low on price. I follow them all the time and I I'll buy a bunch from them all the time. Yeah, speaking of sitting at home and sniping and not having to go anywhere to source, um, there we go. I'm going to do buy it now. Um, you know how much money you can make just by buying the first, like, 30 of those right there? Yeah, I just literally took off the auction. So these are all, like, straight up sold, guys. And you saw the other end of the spectrum, what they're actually worth and what they'll sell for. These are the tiny ones, but even then, the tiny ones yeah. should be going this cheap. This doesn't even cover shipping or cost of goods, let alone your um, fees and everything. No way. That is not a Squishmallow. Th these are not resellers. These are... I sold my kid's toy. Yeah, get rid of it. I want it out of the house now. Dear God, look at these prices. Okay, so um, let me see if you guys... We're in the mood to do some retail arbitrage from the comfort of your own home tonight. You yeah, can no go to search uh, Squishmallow Plush, like look up um, low to high, and then I took out the auctions. And then you could open a second tab or window and you could see what. I mean, even if you get like 17 for them. 
You're making money doing nothing. Yeah, we used to sit and snipe Donald Trump ties. People would sell them for like four bucks and we'd flip them for like 30 to 40. Yeah, I used to do that for video games all the time. Look at this panda. Panda corn. You're just going to buy them all and keep them all for yourself. <laughs> just come free the hammy and Hank the hippo and maybe a baby Yoda. <laughs> And in any other rodents there may be other than that hammy. That ham was cute, though. All right, I'm going to come back over here and make you and me big again. There we go. Yay, we're um, back. <laughs> Thrifty Space Queen is here. Um, so that's, that's Squishmallows in a nutshell, guys. That's why they're selling for so much money. They're only available in certain, in certain places in the world geographically as well as only certain stores they are also releasing limited edition so they'll only like release say a yellow lamb for easter and that's it and it's done which is great they can like change the color purple lamb next year orange lamb i mean they can go crazy so and they all have names too which i like because that's kind of like along the lines of the boyd's bears and the tie yeah. plushed you know I like yeah Easy to list, easy to find. Easy to call, easy to get your keywords, yeah. all that good stuff. Um, plus, it makes them cuter, I think. Like, I don't know. I just think when you look at Plush online, when it's Hank the Hippo, he's more pleasing to me than just Great Hippo. Yeah, Hippo. <laughs> yeah, I want Hank. Once you touch I those things, you know how they feel. They're like, oh, you want them. They're so they're soft, they're so great. <laughs> But yeah, that's why they're selling for so much because they're hard to find, but they're also a fad. And yeah. we've all seen fads come and go, so no telling how long this will last. Yeah. And like you said, if they start mass producing or reproducing, that was where the Beanie Babies went wrong. Yeah, if they start putting them in like uh, second and third, the same one on every location or whatever, they'll kill it, which is sad. Well, the baby babies also they would redo their popular ones. Yeah, they would. Yeah, as soon as they started like running out of stores, they're like, "Oh, we'll make another ten thousand of them. People want them." Yeah. So you know that rare. What was that um, one that was really popular? The the rainbow iguana. I just sold one for like ten bucks. Yeah, Princess e Diana. <laughs> yeah, they they were worth money, and then they were just like, oh, we'll release another 10000 That's where they kind of... I still have one listed, I think, for $700. i am just leaving it there. <laughs> it has errors on the tag, don't you know? Please buy mine. I have errors on the tag right here. This has been sitting here since 2016, and so now it's dusty. We'll put it up for $5,000. <laughs> this is um, the ghost... Mel, and I forget what was. I'm gonna take off his tag protector. No, oh, how dare you! I'm probably gonna cut his tags off. Look, no. he, needs a, he needs a bath. He's really dusty. He's literally been on my utility cart for years. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's what it is. This this is his actual name. Okay. <laughs> See it, spooky? spooky. And his tush tag. Is a misprint. It says Mel. Huh. Okay. Yay. So, um, that's what it was. His his hang tag is correct, but his tush tag is wrong. He might be worth some money. Um, but he's all dusty now, and he's a stupid white thing. So of course he's white. Yeah, I was gonna say, of course he's white. <laughs> I've had him on my utility cart for. I kind of like him too because he's Halloween, but. He's cool. like been hanging out with me for years because I've been meaning to see if he'd be worth money or not because he's got the air. But I'll give you a replacement uh, pumpkin ghost. Those are cool. <laughs> I'd rather have a black cat to be honest. But I I'll mean, give you a replacement black black cat then, so it'll hide the dust very well. <laughs> I don't know what to do with him. Should I cut up, cut this off, and put it back on? I mean, because their hang tag thing is red. I don't know. Yeah, that's the problem. with are red. Whatever. I only have the clear ones in my gun. Me too. <laughs> um, so the thing with fads is if they mass produce too much, ruins it. But um, time too. Like these were popular in the 90s. 
And did you guys ever see, did you ever see the photo of the, cup, the couple that got divorced in the 90s? Oh, with the millions of beanie babies? Yeah, I, I was going to pull it up. But it's a, divor a couple that's getting divorced, and they're literally in a courtroom. Y'all can Google this later and look at the image. <laughs> fighting over beanie babies. They're in a court room, like a judicial <laughs> courtroom. <laughs> There's a judge and two lawyers at the different tables, and these grown-ass adults, there's my third hair, are on their knees on the floor. Okay, we gotta pull this up. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> um, divorced, what is it? Divorced couple, splits beanie babies. They're on the floor of a court, like, that's what gets me. They're sitting on the floor of a courtroom <laughs> And they're going back to forces because that's what the judge ordered them to do. Yeah. One beanie baby for you, one beanie baby for you. It's, pretty much pretty pretty it's pretty like a draft. I've got the picture up now. Let me share. Look. <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. They're literally, there's the lawyers, they're the judge. <laughs> you can't see the judge, but the judge is allegedly in front of this pile of beanie babies <laughs> so deciding over this. <laughs> and that's the wife and the husband. And they didn't have kids or pets or anything. I've like, read the backstory a couple times. Um, and that's her little pile. And he's got his little pile over there somewhere. And he picks, she picks. I wonder how they picked who went first. <laughs> what do you think, Robert? <laughs> I don't know. They probably like, um, do you want the this car or that car? <laughs> and then whoever picks the first car then gets the beanie baby pick first. <laughs> I just see like a judge. Heads or tails? Yeah, well, there you go. We'll do that one. <laughs> and now they're worth nothing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll give you five dollars for the bag. Yeah, that whole entire pile that they had. I'll give you five bucks for the whole pile. <laughs> My dog loves to play with these things. Here, here's five bucks. That's so funny. But yeah, I mean, I have a list of other fads that have come and gone. Um, Beanie Babies are probably the most famous. Yeah. And that probably is because it they came they kind of hit their peak and were kind of filtering out but right about the same time as online became a thing yeah and ebay sense. started in the 90s right around the time beanie babies were popular well now it's pokemon pokemon cards are pokemon really cards. crazy right now i but got the, two cases over there i gotta go list <laughs> this is the third time yeah that's a crazy fad that doesn't stop when i was um an adolescent uh they were really super popular and then when my brother um, my brother's 11 years younger than me so he was about 13 when he got into them and they were really big and popular and now this is the third insurgents oh he's so cute gamestop so now, the one with the hat Oh, if you find um, there's one I want a card. I think you have to. I think it only comes in the cinnamon toast crunch though. But there's a new Pokemon that looks like Pikachu, like a little mouse, but he's a calico. Huh. Okay. <laughs> if you find him, I want him. I'll pay. I'll pay you. I don't care. I want that. I don't he's need like, cinnamon toast crunch though. <laughs> listen, he is a calico rodent. I have to have him. Hopefully they make a plush and we can all have one. <laughs> um, so yeah, fads come and go, and I think it kind of depends on what's go else is going on. Um, Beanie Babies was helped along with the advent of the internet. Comics. I Comics. Mean, got baseball cards, garbage bill kids' cards right now. When I was in high school. I or middle school. <laughs> When I was in middle school, they were so popular they, that those, and do you remember Pogs? Oh, I used to be a distributor for Pogs. Yeah, they got banned from my high school, from my middle school. I keep wanting to make myself younger than I am. Middle school! <laughs> they got banned because people were trading and fighting. And When I was in high school, I was a distributor for Pogs. I was working for actually the Pog, the actual Pog, their little milk caps. I was working for that company. I bought, uh, 
I bought in for, I believe it was $2,000 or $2,500. And I was a distributor for them for a couple of years. Wow. That's awesome. Um, Pogs will still sell. I found a bunch at the bins and I just grabbed them a couple of years ago. Um, just because I knew they wouldn't weigh very much. I wonder so if I, I have any in the garage still. Because I used to have so much. I used to buy so much for them. I sold them. You had to buy in bulk when you when you bought a big order. Right. You had to buy in bulk. So, and I had bags and bags and bags of them. I loved pogs. Pogs, garbage shell kids, uh, fingerlings. <laughs> no, not fingerlings. <laughs> so Robert and I just before we came online, I told them I was going to bring up fingerlings, and we we're both at the same time. Went, oh my god, I have two of those left. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have two with the swing. Mine both are on swings. <laughs> I have two left. I have two. Um, the sloth that was popular. Yeah, the sloth, and there was a unicorn. And the unicorn, and I can't give them away. Yeah. <laughs> I bought a huge lot from China. They were all fakes. I had to get my money back. It was it was a big thing. I was so angry. It was at Christmas time. Bought a huge lot, waiting for them. Bought them early because I saw mm -hmm. that the fad was starting. Bought them early. They came in. Their eyes didn't even open up. They were painted on. Oh <laughs> they didn't move. They made a noise, but that was it. They were so fake. They were the oh. worst fake ever. Their eyes <laughs> I bought them from Wish, I believe it was. Well, of course. Uh, well, I was hoping they were real. I was trying. <laughs> Not from Wish. <laughs> Obviously. It was the worst thing ever. I was so happy. I'm like, oh, I'm going to sell these each for $50 each. I paid maybe $10. <laughs> I'm going to have a great Christmas. And they come in. Their eyes don't even move or open or nothing. <laughs> like, what is this crap? <laughs> I was so mad I got the first one I threw it against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your money back? Yeah, I got my money back. But it was a big pain. <laughs> uh we got a bunch of fake um, Game Boy Pokemon games. Oh, I think I have one fake one too. When we first started, we well, we were actually just looking for any cartridge to, to have around to test our Game Boys that we were finding at yard sales. Yeah, and he Keith happened upon a lot that had a bunch of Pokemon ones in it, and we're like, get that because then we can resell the Pokemons and keep the yeah. the poop games that nobody wants. For testing. Yeah, exactly. All the Pokemons were fake. And like literally like the way he explained to me how he could tell. Um, they have like pink, opaque, clear cases and red cases and different color cases for different uh -huh. versions of the game. They were like just gray cases <laughs> or just like <laughs> clear. Someone just steamed off the sticker and threw it back on. Yeah. So we didn't resell them because you got me in trouble, but Yeah, it happens. <laughs> it happens. So fingerlings were so, but see the thing is, it's weird. Is like things like Pokemon keep coming back. Yeah, Beanie Babies went really big for a lot of years before they faded. Fingerlings were like one Christmas, and that was it. Yeah, that was it, and it was quick. It was super quick. As <laughs> soon as Christmas was over, it's like you can't even give these things away. Nope. Build a bear, so hot. Yeah. Boyd's Bears, they don't sell for a lot of money, but they move quick. Yeah, they do very well. I have a bunch of Boyd's Bears. I still got a list. but I love them. I just listed two little mini ones today, and they comped at like 15 and 16 bucks. Yeah, the mini ones are starting to pick up. I'm like, oh, I have like four of those together. I got to separate them now. <laughs> yeah, I just had two I got from my last wholesale from Greg. Um, they're really cute. One's in the velvet cape with like a hood and everything and her name's like oh, Mildred cool. or Hagrid or something um they're cute but yeah the, uh, if you guys like bread and butter plush Boyd's Bears are good if you can find them for a buck or less they'll sell for like 10 to 20 depending on the bear sometimes even more than that yeah depending so on the bear for crazy prices right now I don't know why but. but they move quick like they don't sit around well, they're a really good bear. I never knew why they would go for like 10 bucks to begin with. They're a really, really nice bear. The Most of them are jointed and yeah, I think they, they keep the tag. So I love Boyd's bears, but they they used to not sell for much. I think I have some right here. Let me see. 
These are some of my friends I photographed today. I had a bunch of webkins. Speaking yeah, of that, webkins. <laughs> webkins are hit or miss. Um, I like my webkins. I'm happy with them. <laughs> this is what the code looks like. You guys always hear me say the code or the no code. I've had them with codes that's 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 less than ones without. So, you have no Look at this little pug. Any <laughs> clue? <laughs> I know, I just put a velvet, there she is. She's so precious. Oh, cool. She's got this whole like velvet cape. I had to lint roll it and make it nice and pretty. But the cape lifts up, it's got a hood. She's got a bow on her ear. It kind of looks like Little Red Riding Hood would set the wrong, <laughs> wrong colored cape. Yeah, and then um, I think I just saw the oh. other one. I have these little guys in bins. Here's a wee little one. That's a Hallmark one. <laughs> this is a wee little Boyd's bear. Isn't she precious? Yeah, those are going for decent money right now. And even though she's small, she's still jointed. See? Yeah, they make great bears. I love Boyd's bears. These are like a fad that kind of came and went, but you still have your collectors and your followers. Yeah, they still sold for... 15 to 20 or so. Yep. The Gans Webkins, the Boyd's Bears, Build a Bears are still good. Um, this guy made me think of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Not you personally. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> My guy, best scary? Jeez. No zombie. <laughs> zombie. Oh, this little guy is... from. Oh, from... kiss that. No, it's uh, Larry. Camelot. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are all my little guys. This little girl makes noise. Is that a Yuhu friend? This is a, yeah, a Yuhu and friend. <laughs> Isn't she cute? I might have sold one or two of those. <laughs> oh, you want to talk about a fad that's still hot, even these tiny ones. Oh, not the Neopets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get the big ones, and I'll sell them for $20 or more. Oh, I know. They're great. Now, these are the McDonald's. I got these from Greg. They came in a little bag in the wholesale yeah, lot. Still sell. These are up for like $14, $15, and $16. Bucks. Yeah, and yes, those little, tiny, little things. I had like a, it's like a wolf or something, I believe, sold for $20. Yeah, I got a whole bag. He sent a whole bag of these in with the last lot. Um, they're all, they're so small. Most of them are down at the bottom of this bed now. Yeah. Which is great. I mean, but they're tiny and they took me like two seconds to photograph and they comped it like 15 and $16 for most of them. And yeah, I did they're, each they're one individually, cool. not a group or a lot. So like Neopets, Gams, Webkins, I almost knocked a nice coffee into my bin of plush. That would have been great. No, thanks. Like bears, they're so good. Beanie Babies, no. Other tie, yes. The classics. Did you guys see my what sold? My cat champagne that sold for $30? Yeah, they sell great. The big ones sell great. I have a black one that sold for like $35. Um, Beanie Boo sell very good, but you have to watch out for their eyes, which suck. Yeah, um, the glitter eyes are worth more money. The Beanie Buddies, the Beanie Boos, the tie classic, and the Attic Treasures. Yeah, Attic Treasures. <laughs> Um, Greg even just said, are those the ones for me? Yes. I actually have not done a haul video in like two months, guys, because I'm really trying to get through our death piles by the end of April. I'm trying to get the death pile. I'm trying to get everything. I had her out today, Greg. Um, I'm trying to get everything that we have that's unlisted listed before the end of April so we can start packing in May. Um, so I had to forego doing haul videos and just kind of like break into stuff and tear through it. I got one thread up box left and probably 80 plus maybe. And then I could help Keith through these t-shirts, but we just kept buying and buying and buying and buying and buying. I, t -shirts. Uh, I have a t-shirt pile over there from my GameStop buyout. That's about, I don't know, eight eight feet tall and about 
I don't know, six to eight feet wide. I have so many t-shirts right now. I'm like, oh, I got to get through those. Well, we bought that wholesale lot of a thousand because we thought that Keith could get through it by the end of April. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, well, I'll help you get through it by the end of April. And then I bought a hundred more plus from Greg. And then I bought 30 more plus from Greg. And then I found in my trunk, you guys probably know about that. The two 50 pound boxes of thrown up we bought, caught some post office. They were in our trunk that we forgot about that we found. We cleaned out the car. We like, found they're in your trunk. He's like, you have a hundred pounds of denim in here, woman. And I'm like, oh my God, I forgot about those. And he's like, and you just really bought more plush. And I'm like, yes. Yeah, plush is fun. <laughs> So yeah, I haven't been doing any haul videos. I've just like been tearing through as quickly as I can doing photographs of this stuff. I figure when they sell, you guys will see them because I'm still gonna I'm going to do the what sold videos. Um I'm going to do them through the move and everything. No matter what happens, you guys are gonna get those. Even if I have to go to like bi-weekly or monthly if things get really hectic or whatever when we're in the process of moving. Um, the what's all videos are here to stay. The live shows are here to stay. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's pretty much what I'm down to anymore, though, if you haven't noticed. I'm just putting up the what's all and doing my live show. Um, just because we're so busy. I'm just really, I'm trying to get, not even listed. I just want to get it all photographed. And then I can worry about listing. Yeah. I hear you. Because yeah. once it's photographed, it can be put neatly away into its place yeah and you have listed one ever yeah and once it's neatly put away into its place it's ready to be moved to florida so yeah yeah those are a lot of the plush that craig gave me um well she doesn't need any more plush greg just send it all to me i'm fine <laughs> uh, he already said earlier that i get first pick forever i'm the queen uh, no she just said she's busy <laughs> Listen to me. Do you got, he just bought out a bunch of Game Stops. He doesn't need anything. Only eight Game Stops. That's all. And then you had that weird chili fries with the lettuce on them. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> Keith and I were watching that while we were eating dinner, I think. And we were like, ew, that grosses us out. <laughs> Like, what is this? <laughs> lettuce on chili fries. I've never heard of lettuce on chili fries. I'm like, oh, oh go for it. I'm like, yeah. Gross, <laughs> gross, gross. But yeah. I kind of wanted to scrape it off after the few bites. But hey, the chili was good, so. That, that helps. Um, So yeah, I guess that's an announcement I've been needing to make on my live show anyway. Um, I'm probably going to be down to the what sold in the live shows. Um. I'm going to try to sneak in a video here and there for you guys, get you some good content. Um, I am doing a video with Casey Thursday or Friday. It's going to be pre recorded, not live. And I can't tell you what it's about because it's going to be a surprise for me and Casey. Oh. Um, oh, so back to the fads real quick. <laughs> What's okay. we're supposed to be talking to about? Yeah. We're over an hour, and I actually um, wanted to show you guys one thing. I really, really wanted to show. I wanted to show it to you so badly that I disabled my ad blocker so I could look at the stupid article. Oh, no. Because <laughs> it's like, you can't look at this unless you unblock your ads. So my I had to go into my Google and unblock my ads. So these are the top toys at Christmas Pass. Okay, from Teddy Ruxpin to Tamagotchis. Do you remember Tamagotchis? Oh, I have some from GameStop. I got the new ones from GameStop. I have about 20 of them. Oh, I got to tell you real quick. Let me be big real quick. No, I don't care. I'll be small. Um, we found a Tamagotchi our very first year reselling when we were brand new. had no idea what we were doing. We went to a yard sale, and they had it brand new in the package, never opened. And Keith knew what he had. knew He knew what it was. Even yeah. though we were new to reselling, he's still a nerd. Um, of course. <laughs> and she had it out for, like, I think it was either a dollar or two dollars. And he knew what it was, and he picked it up and just tried to act cool. You know, you never show the people at the yard sale. <gasps> yeah, you don't jump up and down. So he's acting all cool and calm. 
And then we found a bunch of stuff at that yard sale that was all unopened. And apparently her kid had left all of his stuff in the attic when he moved away to college. And then he got married and had kids. And then he finally just told his mom, you can just clear the attic out and put all my stuff in this yard sale. So this was his original Tamagotchi from like the 80s or 90s that he had never opened. Holy cow. It sold for like 80 some dollars. It was some yellow one and it wasn't as sought after or didn't comp as high as other ones. It was like the low one. But man, we got it for like a buck or two. We had only been reselling for a couple months. That is a great find. We were so excited. <laughs> um, Greg says we give him anxiety. <laughs> Try being <laughs> us. <laughs> All right. So anyway, back to this article. I really wanted to show you guys because when I was making this list and I put the fingerlings on it, I thought, man, those came and went fast. And some things do. Cabbage Patch Kids were a fad. Um, in fact, I remember when I was a kid seeing on the news a couple times where grown-ass adults, four swear, uh, <laughs> in Kmart, that doesn't even really exist anymore, were like punching each other. And yeah, it was a fist fight. <laughs> um, these old newspaper articles. I, Teddy I just wanted my garbage pail kids. <laughs> I didn't care about the cabbage patch. Well, I was too much of a tomboy. I wanted GI Joes. And... Oh, I had those too. I still have those. I have my whole collection back there. I, I wanted I the it. turtles, the GI Joes, the um, Star Wars toys. I have that huge aircraft carrier. Have you ever seen that? It's like m massive. I think it's like. 10 feet long, maybe even more. It's it's mad. I think I had that and then I just thought of where it went. I have I it in the garage. It's it's in pieces, but I still have it. <laughs> I was an only child, so I pretty much have whatever I wanted. <laughs> um Teddy Ruxpin. You guys remember him? Yeah, they just oh. reissued him. I bought a bunch at uh Toys R Us before they closed. Mm -hmm. I sold him a good amount. Teddy Ruxpin and what was that other one? The other thing that talks. It's really freaky. Oh, yeah, that weird looking like worm type creature. <laughs> no, Furbies. Oh, you're talking about that. Yeah, Furbies. Furbies still sell pretty they well. They still sell. Yeah, we found a couple of those at yard sales too. They just okay. reissued those too. They have like weird eyes that glow. Ugh, they're like creepy ones now. Okay, no. Uh <laughs> <laughs> We got Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Elmo. Remember Took on the Elmo? Oh, yeah. I have a couple in this pile. <laughs> People used to fight over him, too. Tamagotchis. Here's the yeah, Furby. Furby. Yeah. Furby. The new ones are creepier than that one now. <laughs> were, my friends used to swear to God they would put them like, in their closet and under their bed and turn them off, and they would still talk and stuff. Oh, yeah, those stupid things will never turn off sometimes. I, I've taken batteries out of them so many times where I've just tested them. They're like, this guy will just make noise out of a sudden. They're like, what the heck? Yeah, yeah they're, they're in the dark, listening to something, and all of a sudden, rrr, rrr, rrr. you're like, oh, what is that? They're like those buddy dolls. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking Furby will just freak you out. <laughs> they're just... We had one that we thought didn't have batteries and it we brought it home from yard sale and it was up on the third floor in the middle of the night talking. Yeah. <laughs> They're creepy little things. Well, I hear in the middle of the night. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> like what is going on? I like little gremlins. <laughs> All right, and I pulled up this other article just to show you guys some other hot toys of Christmas's past. Just to kind of be nostalgic a little bit as we close up the show and um you know, help you guys remember how quickly something can come and go. So if you're going to jump on the Squishmallow phase, you might want to do it sooner rather than later. You're going to be left with them, like me and Robert are left with our fingerlings. <laughs> Anybody want to buy a fingerling? <laughs> it's still listed. <laughs> I might just keep the sloth. He's pretty cute. Or she. Mine's pink. Yeah, I, I have a, just a stupid monkey. I don't know. <laughs> uh, etch a sketch. Yeah, I never. I don't think I even had one of those. <laughs> I did. The Nerf balls, Pet Rocks. This goes through the years. So as we get... Pet Rock was just dumb. I don't know how people fell for that. 
I have. I did never had a pet rock, but I did have a chia pet. Well, I have Groot chia pets. <laughs> I think I just told them that one. <laughs> Cabbage Patch Kids, the Game Boy, Pogs. Yay! <laughs> Tickle Me Elmo, the Sony PlayStation. Yeah, that that's going to be big every time they drop a new console. Yeah, period. it's still big, and it's going to be out a year soon. <laughs> I know. We were actually, we said we weren't going to get any new, um, we're not buying anything until we move, uh -huh. like, my hair. Um, personally, like, buying anything. We're still buying inventory. But we said we weren't going to buy, like, I want an Instapot. We want the new PlayStation. We're like, we'll wait till we move, we'll wait till we move. But we just went to look at Walmart the other day just to see. And they're like, we don't even have them on the shelf anymore. You have to pre-order them online. And it's yeah, because, and if you're lucky. It's because they have a shortage right now. Of the chips. Uh, but they'll they'll start popping up soon because uh, Xbox is actually killing them right now. Well, he typically, like, once every year or two, he gets a new computer. And by gets uh -huh. a new computer, in quotes... <laughs> He goes to something like New Egg and he buys all his own parts and builds his own tower. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Yeah, because you can come up with a computer that has the power of a computer that would cost you ten grand for like oh yeah, two, for two yeah. to three grand. As long um, as you know what you're doing, yeah, it's, it's great. As long, yeah, he does know what he's doing because he is a computer. And there's a lot of shortages on that end too. All the yeah, the that's what I was getting at. So all of the parts that he can get right now are backdated. To like um, 2019 and 2020, they're old. They don't have anything new. And I guess yeah. what was everything shut down because it wasn't essential. So now all of the computer parts and the chips for the PlayStations and everything, they have shortages on. So if you want a new yeah, computer. Over. Between the cell phones and the computers and the PlayStations and the Xbox, they're all fighting over the chips. And it's that's what makes everything all scarce, which is fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. So... You know, we were we were kind of gonna maybe give in and go ahead and get the PlayStation like now before we move, just to have something new to do on the weekends together to play new games or something. Because you can go online and download games, but they didn't yeah. have it. <laughs> we can't, and now we didn't want one. We can't find one <laughs> unless we want to pay like double what it's worth. And I'm it's not just sure. great because they have Game Pass, so you just pay like fifteen bucks a month, and you get hundreds of games. For who? Xbox. Yeah, we have the Xbox. That's oh, you have the want. new Series X? Yeah, that's why we want PlayStation, because we want all the toys. You got most of the games on Xbox, so... <laughs> but we're nerds! Games. We want all the toys! <laughs> we only have, like, two or three exclusives. PlayStation's not worth it right now. Uh, we're nerds. Unless you like Spider-Man. <laughs> I do me me. Me. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure the Kingdom Hearts stuff's all... On both, right? Yeah, they're on both. So. That doesn't matter. That I'm into get the King of Hearts, Kingdom Hearts. Really, I never. I never, liked, one. I never played any more after that. I never liked the Final Fantasy, but I love Kingdom Hearts. Probably because of you, Disney. Because I'm a dork. I love Disney. Um, <laughs> I actually, when the first one came out, called off work. <laughs> I remember that because I worked in a kitchen at a nursing home at the time, and um. I had gone to GameStop earlier that day, and they had the, the guide for King <laughs> Hearts, and I bought it, and I got home, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm not going to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I can't come in. I'm sick. <laughs> All right. Come on, Simba. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, Mickey. <laughs> I forgot the muted. <laughs> That's just my kids. What are you talking about? All right, yeah, those are fads too, though. Video games and consoles and oh, yeah. those are fads. I mean, you got your Apple people who like to throw their money in the trash. Exactly. <laughs> when you got people you who buy for like three, four hundred dollars, and you pay two, three thousand for it, so. And you got people who buy quality phones like Androids. That's and right. Baby Yoda's on them. <laughs> of course, it has to have a Baby Yoda. <laughs> yeah, that's my. Um, I just have the cool stand <laughs> and it holds my credit card over there. No, that's cool. Now I have to have like the hard otter backs because oh, yeah, like, this is hard. Even just before we came in um, on inside, I said me and Keith went for a walk after we ate right before I came on live. 
I'm just walking down the street with it in my hand and it just drops out and flops oh. into the street. I am such a spaz. I'm just like, I don't even yeah. have a plastic cover on my glass. I'm like, <laughs> I've had a for years and never had any problems. Watch, I'm going to drop it next time. I'm bad. Next but yeah, time. so you got like your Apple people every year. They like to update their Apple phones, they like their pads. You got your Android people who like every time they come out with a new yeah. Galaxy. We I'll got buy it in like four or five years. I'm good. <laughs> I'm uh, we have we have the Galaxy Forever, so we get an upgrade every year. Oh, okay. Well, I have my Note. I just bought it for my nephew. He upgraded. I'm like, oh, right, I'll give you a few hundred bucks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> give we get it every year. year. And then when T-Mobile bought out Sprint, we got grandfathered in. So we have like the plan we have is from like ten years ago. It's really good. And I'm grandfathered in because I have uh, Metro PCS. So, yeah, <laughs> T-Mobile would bought them too. So, I'm with so, you. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's all. There, those are all examples of fads, and some fads will be here for a long time. Like getting a new phone every year for people who really like their Apple product. That's crazy. I can't uh, mean every year. Spending like a thousand dollars on a phone, uh, <laughs> I go <laughs> jump out a window. <laughs> um. But that's going to be around for a while. I think people are going to be like that with the new phones for a long time. But then you have stuff like fingerlings. It's just one Christmas season and it's gone. So yeah, the, the children find out how creepy and stupid the thing is, and they don't want to buy anymore. If you if you hear something's hot and you know of a place to get it, get it, get it, get it, and get out. There you go. That's do it and get out. Don't wait because if you wait. Um, you're going to be left with a bunch of stuff you can't give away. I have two fingerlings. I have a box of Beanie Babies. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> I auctioned them off. I couldn't get rid of them. <laughs> you can't give them away? And they weigh no. too, too much to freaking ship priority. <laughs> no, I literally can't even give them away since COVID because I boxed them all up and I actually called the children's hospital here. And then asked if I could donate them. No, because of COVID. Oh, I've been donating my animals. I never have a problem. Where but to? It wasn't to a children's hospital. It was a, to a thrift store. Yeah, no, my thrift store, I'll take them. Yeah. But I wanted to give them to a children's hospital, and they said no. So then I tried, like, one of those shelters for women and children. Uh -huh. They said no. And I'm like, those are the kids that really need something. To, yeah, no kidding. To love on. Take my stupid toy, damn you. Will you please give this to children who are having a hard time? <laughs> no, ma'am, you might have COVID. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. I hope you learned something. I know that um, at least one of you thinks that Robert and I talk too much. <laughs> we do, so we'll deal with it. <laughs> do you remember that comment? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I expected more out of you. Well, then go pay for your information. These are free. <laughs> if you we really want to... our lives talking to you. That's it. Yeah. You guys get information for free on these YouTube channels. And the whole reason we have guests on is so that you guys can watch us banter and joke around and laugh at something different. Yeah. If we were serious all the time, what point would that be? <laughs> what fun would that be? That would be boring. Yeah, and I know that sounded like a little snarky, but I think I meant it too. Yeah. If you don't like it, I'm not forcing you to watch and you didn't pay for it, so bye Felicia. <laughs> bye Felicia. Somebody says you can donate these to the police stations. I'll hey, there's one right up the road. I'll call them and see. I'm gonna play with Odie. <laughs> I'm gonna have Angel come say bye to you guys. And um, if you guys have any questions later, you can always come back. Um, the video will be up on my channel for the replay, and you can leave a comment. Or you can come in the Facebook group. Should I put the link up? I don't think Bill and Dave are here anymore. My moderators leave. We talk too much. <laughs> we even bored them. That's fine. That's okay. We're having a good time. I'm having a great time. I'm playing with my hippo. I'm cleaning its tooth while we're closing down. We're having a good old time bantering. Hey, Dell is here. Welcome in. Um, so there's the link. That's to the Facebook group. Um, Robert's a moderator in there. That's my group. I admin it. 
So we're both in there. You guys can ask us questions about plush. And there's I have other moderators in there that are that a dirty nasty one up. are specialists in books and antiques and stuff. But <laughs> y'all crack me up. <laughs> I do that to Robert every time I have him on. When we he comes on StreamYard before we go live. <laughs> I do my damn <laughs> face at him. Here, here's my face back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, join the Facebook group. You can contact me or Robert in there. Lots of really great people in there. It's probably one of the best groups. It is the best group. People yeah, are nice. so. people in there are pretty nice, right? Really back, chill. Yeah, pretty much. Only met one or two that are real. What I don't want to say, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, it's way better than most groups. <laughs> Definitely, you won't get looked at funny for asking questions, though. So. Yeah, even stupid ones, so put them in there. It's fine. There's no such thing as a stupid question. I, mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, there's really not. Because if you're new, you're new, and you don't know. I mean, I did yeah, a lot exactly. of stupid stuff when I was a new reseller. A lot of stupid news, stupid news, newbie stuff. Exactly. You did too. <laughs> Is this Beanie Baby worth $500? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the whole story about the Beanie Babies in the, my very first original video I ever put on YouTube? I, I watched it. <laughs> oh. We were at the bins and we kept finding Beanie Babies and more Beanie Babies and, more, and we were there for hours and hours and we filled up two carts and I had a stick because of my back injury so I'm putting yeah. a stick and we stayed there. And they kept bringing out more of those bins, and more of the Beanie Babies were in there. I wonder why. And we cleared them out of the Beanie Babies, right? And then I had them all in the pile on the floor, and I'm going through them. And I was so brand new to reselling. I didn't really comp them on eBay first. I was looking at Beanie Baby Quarter <laughs> websites where they're, babies. Yeah, they're like, Beanie Babies, yeah! <laughs> Does this one have an error? I found this duck <laughs> that I thought was going to be worth $500 <laughs> for real. And I had it separated and I was so excited. And when Keith got Don't home, damage this one. I said, this duck's worth $500. And then this ghost has an error and this one. And I had them all in these piles and all over the living room because we had two carts full of stuff that day. It was yeah. mostly mini babies. They're all over these piles, all over. And I had them sorted, and I had a whole big pile of them that I thought was going to be worth five hundred bucks. Because according to the Beanie Baby geeks at the Beanie Baby yeah. websites, and I was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe we got We're these millionaires!" <laughs> We're not even going to have to resell. We can just sell these and retire. <laughs> We're gonna be Trump's neighbor pretty soon. <laughs> I didn't know better. <laughs> I hear you. I still have a pelican listed, I think, for seven hundred and fifty dollars. So, I mean, and if you look at if you don't look at eBay comps and you're new to reselling and you don't know to look at the eBay comps, even some of the eBay comps and sold will look like they sold for a thousand bucks. But if you just yeah. look at the collectors' websites. And those incorrect bad news articles that float around, they'll tell you they're worth a ton of bunch. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and I will never forget that day. I had all these piles and I'm like, so rich. <laughs> Don't forget to buy all the black diamond uh, Disney DVDs too. Well, we did look for those because Keith heard those were worth money. <laughs> they're worth thousands. <laughs> Millions if they're sealed. Don't forget. We found one. <laughs> Guess where it is? <laughs> it's in there. It's our tester for when we resell uh, DVD VCR combos. <laughs> we have a Beauty and the Beast Black Diamond, and that's what we used to test those with before we list them. That's oh, what it's worth. It worth so much. <laughs> it's a tester VHS. <laughs> Oh, my eyes. Robert is always so fun to have on. Um, 
the small list that we gave you when we were going through the plush and showing you the Boyd's Bears, the Gans Webkins, the Neopets. Those are good. Um, Beanie Baby. Nope. Beanie Buddies. Beanie Boos. Yes. The Thai Attic Treasures and the Classics are good. Very good, yeah. And Squishmallows. Love my Squishmallows. <laughs> I have, I'm going to get Hank. What were their names? Hank the Hippo and Humphrey the Hammy. And you'll probably get them for $5 because there's <laughs> it's a full selling. Yeah, online. and I don't need the full size. I will take the small, like this size. I like these size of little plushies because they're my little desk friends. Yeah, they work. <laughs> I have a hippo and a unicorn named Star, and I have a cute Tito for Tito Slothito named Tiny Tito with no burrito. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord! Okay, I gotta go. I've not, not found one of those yet. <laughs> I love the Fruititos, but anyway, guys, so there's stuff that lasts and stuff that doesn't, and that was the point, I think. I lost it somewhere. I, don't know. <laughs> I lost it somewhere. But um, join the Facebook group. You can find us in there. Do that. Robert's YouTube is in the description box. So make sure... <laughs> Make sure that you subscribe to Robert's YouTube channel as well. Make sure you're subscribed here. Hit yeah, the little bell. All the time. <laughs> yep. Hit the little bell so you're notified when new content comes out. And um, I'll try to have Robert on at least once more before we move. He's yeah. pretty good about it. I like, usually give him like a day's notice. What are you doing tomorrow night? As long as my internet's working, I'm good. <laughs> He's like, I'm not doing anything. Want to come on the show? Sure. I'm a hermit. You know what the topic was going to be? No, I don't care. I'll be there. <laughs> you can interrupt me listening. That's all. <laughs> it's either going to work or hang out. Uh, I prefer hanging out. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Uh, hit the thumbs up before you leave. It really helps the channel so, so much. And um, thanks for joining us. Sorry if we talk too much. Not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to Robert as well. We'll see you next time. You guys are the best. Bye. Go be productive. Make some money. And Robert? Don't fiddle fart around. Get your listings up. Bye, guys. Bye.